Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. In this video, we are going to see what is data integrity and its types. It's a very important concept in SQL. It's actually a quite straightforward concept. Basically, it refers to the safety of data. When we create a database, it's important to ensure that the quality of data is good. Proper quality of data means proper quality of analysis. Let us consider this Amazon website use case. Nowadays we all prefer online shopping. So here we are the end user. So whenever we search for any product on the website, our data gets stored in their database. The data related to our activities like how many times we have visited, which product we have clicked or how was our engagement, all data is stored in the user activity table. Then data related to the location, gender, age, all get stored in the user demographic table. And the data related to the past activity stored in this past activity table. So all these data get stored in the database. Suppose in their database, let us consider this table where we have user ID, user language, user country and user city. What if there was a bunch of duplicates values in the user ID column? where we really want a distinct one for each user. Also, what would happen if there was some unwanted data present in our tables? Suppose user ID has to be a numeric integer and what if one of the cells accidentally contain a decimal value or in worst case a string or a text? Obviously, this would negatively affect our databases. Here the data integrity comes in. So data integrity refers to the safety of data and ensures the accuracy, consistency and the reliability of a data in a relational database. When we perform any operation like DML or DML operations, here data integrity is very important. There are four types of data integrity. First is entity integrity. Second is user defined integrity. Third is referential integrity and the last is domain integrity. Let me explain all these four one by one. First is entity integrity. This refers to the uniqueness and non-null constraint of a primary key values in a table. By enforcing the entity integrity, the database ensures that each row in the table can be uniquely identified and no two rows are identical. Let me explain this with an example. Here we have a two tables. First is product table where we have a three columns, product ID, product name and product category and second table is a sale table where we have three columns sale invoice number product id and sale amount here in the product table product id is a primary key now in order to maintain the integrity the rows of this column should be unique and there should not be a null values or a duplicate values so this will be the entity integrity now second type is a user defined integrity it refers to the rules and constraints that are created by the user in order to use the data for a specific purpose. User-defined integrity allows user to specify their own custom requirement for the data that is stored in their database. This should include the thing like ensuring the values within a certain range or in a certain date or time format. Here is an example. As you can see in a sale table, in a row, sale invoice number the invoice number must be formatted as your year month day followed by the six zeros here the year is given as 2015 then followed by the month which is march then followed by a day which is a zero one okay here zero prefix a six digit invoice number so as a user we are defining a custom rule to show the invoice number in a certain format this type of integrity called as a user defined integrity. Third type of integrity is a referential integrity in SQL database. This refers to the relationship between two or more tables in a database and ensures that data is consistently maintained across those tables. In other words, referential integrity ensures that a foreign key value in a one table corresponds to a valid primary key value in a another table. This helps to maintain the consistency of a data by preventing the creation of often records in a database which is essential for accurate data analysis and decision making. 
कंसिडर अ प्रोडक्ट टेबल एंड सेल टेबल अगेन प्रोडक्ट टेबल इज हैविंग अ प्राइमरी की ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट आई डी एंड अ सेल टेबल हैव अ फॉरिन की ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट आई डी दैट रेफरेंस इज द प्रोडक्ट टेबल विद रेफरेंशियल इंटेग्रिटी इन प्लेस हियर द डेटा बेस विल एन्श्योर दैट द सेल इन वॉइस कैन ओनली बी एंटर्ड इफ इट करस्पॉन्ड्स टू अ वैलिड प्रोडक्ट आई डी इन द प्रोडक्ट आई डी टेबल दिस इज रेफरेंशियल इंटीग्रिटी लास्ट इज डोमेन इंटीग्रिटी इट रेफर्स टू द रिस्ट्रिक्शन प्लेस्ड ऑन द टाइप एंड रेंज ऑफ अ डेटा दैट कैन बी स्टोर इन अ कॉलम फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर द कॉलम सेल अमाउंट इन अ सेल टेबल With domain integrity in place, the database will ensure that the value stored in this cell, uh, sales amount column are numerical, that to a float data type, which is in decimal point. This helps to prevent the errors in the data entry and ensure that data is stored in the database is accurate and consistent. So this is a domain integrity. So hope you understood what is data integrity and what are the different type of data integrity. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.